In this video, I'm going to quickly cover some information regarding a powerful yet little known vitamin that is used to transport calcium deposits from our soft tissues into our teeth and bones. First discovered around 1930 by a dentist named Dr. William Price. This vitamin, which he called Activator X, was found in the diets of Aboriginal people who did not eat Western foods. Dr. Price found that those who ate this Activator X containing diet had perfect dental structure with no crowded teeth and no cavities, even though these people did not brush their teeth. Though much of Dr. Price's work has been greatly suppressed by modern medicine, it has been found that the Activator X Dr. Price was talking about is vitamin K2. And unlike vitamin K1, which is used for blood clotting and stopping bleeding, vitamin K2 is used by our bodies to transport calcium into our teeth and bones. Without it, our bodies cannot properly transfer the calcium to where it is needed, and we can end up with calcium deposits in our arteries, joints, and pineal gland. Since vitamin K2 is almost non-existent in the Western diet, those who are eating this diet could greatly benefit from eating foods that are known to contain vitamin K2. Some of these foods would include ratfish oil, organic grass-fed beef liver, organic duck and goose liver, organic grass-fed dairy such as cheese, butter and milk, organic free-range eggs, and there are also some fermented foods such as natto, which is a fermented soybean dish, and sauerkraut that will also contain vitamin K2. Now, the reason vitamin K2 is present in grass-fed over grain-fed animals is because K2 is only produced in the guts of animals that have been grazing on green vegetation, such as grass, and will not be substantially present in animals who are grain-fed. Though it is best to get K2 through our diet, vitamin K2 can also be taken as a supplement. The natural and most bioavailable form of this being MK7. Note that taking vitamin D3 in combination with K2 is vitally important as D3 is needed for proper calcium absorption. The best way for us to get D3 is going to be from the sun. However, some foods that contain the highest amounts of this will be cod liver oil, wild oysters, wild fatty fish such as salmon, tuna, and mackerel, organic grass-fed beef liver, and organic eggs. As always, if you guys have found this information useful, Please help us out by giving this video a like and subscribing to the channel. 